6 o'clock, and this is, uh, I call to order the regular board meeting of the Western Community Service District. Uh, roll call. Director Vic Washington. Here. Director Alfred Wallace. Here. Director Rick Webb. He's temporarily absent. I understand he is running late. Vice President Ben Stewart. Are you with us on the line, Ben? He's supposed to be attending to, uh, via teleconference. And President Byron Glennon. Here. And we do have a quorum. General Manager Tim Domingo. Here. Director of Public Works John Houghton is absent. I'm the Director of Administration. My name is Sherry Kemp. Do we have legal counsel, Mr. Comar, with us this evening? John? Can anybody hear us? Is anybody out there? John Houghton. Oh, John. John Houghton's on the phone. Okay. Hi, John. Hi. I said there were four on the line. Right. Okay. I don't understand. Uh, would you rise with the pledge, please? Ready, begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation <clears throat> under God, indivisible, and with every and justice for all. May the God we just pledged forgive us for not being a nation that acknowledges being under God by many of our leaders. Um, I don't think there's any additions or deletions to the agenda, is there? No. So may I have a motion to approve the agenda? <laughs> motion, Director Wallace. Second, Director Washington. Second, Director Washington. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'd like to note for the record that uh, Director Stewart arrived, I'm sorry, Director Webb arrived at 6.01 p.m. Do we have Director Stewart on the line with us? Okay. okay. And, and I want you to know, Rick, that one minute is five demerits. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got an uh, excuse qualifier. I got a qualifier. I got a qualifier. Okay, let's disturb your wife. Disturb your wife. Okay. Also, Sh Sherry, please note uh, John Comar's here. Oh, hi, John. Thank you. Good evening, John. Hey, John. So that sounds like 10 demerits for me. It is. 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 Done. I have a public comment as a member of the public, not a board member. Uh, this quote is from Thomas Jefferson. It's so timely, I had to share it with my fellow leaders, <laughs> with you guys. You have to qualify that. Here's, here's the quote. If we let Washington tell us what to sow, when to reap, we let the government tell us when to sow and when to reap. We're going to be wanting bread very soon. Relaying this directly to water. If we let the federal and state government, through various regulations, control our precious water supply, our supply of abundant, healthy water will be in jeopardy. Uh, voluntary public roll call. John, yes. are you out there? Yes, yes. Good evening, members of the board and staff. Yeah, the Rose of News is here. You, you got run over last night at AVAC. You couldn't couldn't get in there. They kept stepping on you. Yeah, well, you know, journalism is a tough business today. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, John. Good evening. Anyone else? Hi, 
Hi, um, this is Natalie Willis representing Hydrostore. Good evening, Natalie. Good evening. Um, moving on to consent calendar, CC1, Dr. Vouchers, CC2, uh, cash balances in April, and CC3, cash balances in May. I have a motion for CC1, CC2, and CC3. Motion. Motion, Director Washington. Second. Uh, second, Director Wallace. All in favor, any questions? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Uh, we have a variety of minutes from the government, uh, uh, community relations committee, regular board meeting, sewer committee, and finance committee. I have a motion for M1, M2, M3, and M4. Motion approved. Motion director uh, Webb. Second. Second director uh, uh, All in <laughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. Same sign. Motion carried. Moving on to new business. Resolution 20 o'clock, and this is uh, I called to order the regular board meeting of the Western Community Service District. Um, roll call. Director Greg Washington. Here. Director Alfred Wallace. Here. Director Rick Webb. He's temporarily absent. I understand he is running late. Vice President Ben Stewart. Are you with us on the line, Ben? He's supposed to be attending to, uh, via teleconference. And President Byron Levin. Here. And we do have a quorum. General Manager Tim Domingo. Here. Director of Public Works John Houghton is absent. I'm the Director of Administration. My name is Sherry Kim. Do we have legal counsel Mr. Comar with us this evening? John? Did anybody hear us? Is anybody out there? Don't know. There were four. Oh, on John. One. John Houghton's on the phone. Okay. Hi, John. Hi. Said there were four on the line. Right. Okay. I don't understand. Yeah. Uh, would you rise to put the flag in? Ready, begin. I, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under <coughs> God, indivisible, and with every hand of the straw. May the God we just pledged forgive us for not being a nation that acknowledges being under God by many of our leaders. Um, I don't think there's any additions or deletions to the agenda, is there? No. So may I have a motion to approve the agenda? <laughs> motion, Director Wallace. Second, Director Washington. Second, Director Washington. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Good evening, Rick. Good evening, sure. How are you? I'd like to note for the record that uh, Director Stewart arrived, I'm sorry, Director Webb arrived at 6.01 p.m. Do we have Director Stewart on the line with us? Okay. Thank and, you. and I want you to know, Rick, that one minute is five demerits. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got an uh, excuse qualifier. I got a quarter set in notes. Hey, let's turn your wife. Turn your wife. Okay. <laughs> also, Sh Sherry, please note uh, John Comar's here. Oh, hi, John. Thank you. Good evening, John. Hey, John. So that sounds like 10 demerits for me. It is. 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 Hearing none, I have a public comment as a member of the public, not a board member. Uh, this quote is from Thomas Jefferson. It's so 
timely, I had to share it with my fellow leaders, <laughs> with you guys. <laughs> you have to that. Here's, here's the quote. If we let Washington tell us what to sow, <laughs> when to read, the nation will soon want to get If we let the government tell us when to sow and when to reap, we're going to be wanting bread very soon. Relaying this directly to water, if we let the federal and state government, through various regulations, control our precious water supply, our supply of abundant, healthy water will be in jeopardy. Uh, voluntary public roll call. John, yes. are you out there? Yes, yes. Good evening, members of the board and staff. Yeah. The Rolls of News is here. You, you got run over last night at AVAC. You couldn't, couldn't get in there. They kept stepping on you. Yeah, well, you know, journalism is a tough business today. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, John. Good evening. Anyone else? Hi, um, this is Natalie Willis representing Hydrostore. Good evening, Natalie. Good evening. Um, moving on to consent calendar, CC1, about the vouchers, CC2, uh, cash balances in April and CC3 cash balances in May. I have a motion for CC1, CC2, and CC3. Motion. Motion, Director Washington. Second. Uh, second, Director Wallace. All in favor. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Uh, we have a variety of minutes from the government. Uh, uh, community Relations Committee, Regular Board Meeting, Sewer Committee, and Finance Committee. I have a motion for M1, M2, M3, and M4. Motion approved. Motion Director uh, Webb. Second. Second Director uh, uh, All, in <laughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, oh, same sign. Motion carried. Moving on to new business. Resolution 20. The amount of water that they're going to have to ask people to reduce for us to to, uh, to police isn't really enough to keep the plants healthy. Yeah. Just yes, that last. Jim, along that line, if I could ask you, I just pull, push this forward. I know a lot of people may be tempted to want to put that synthetic turf down in large plots. But maybe we could start looking for alternatives for the stuff and you start putting that continuously. How we're going to do that or just, you know, how they just put a lot of rock or whatever. We're just going to create lots of stones. So maybe as we, you know, this comes forward, maybe we can start coming up with some suggestions for them. Because uh, years ago in the valley, they just would dump a whole bunch of rocks up there and put a cactus. And to, to you know, to, to get by with it and, you just, you just create more heat zones, and up here, this is the last place you want heat zones, that's part of it. And another thing you have to do is work on ways to keep the soil covered, because when you get these dust storms, that becomes a hazard and a half that you can get to across the roadways. You're bringing up really good points that need to be communicated to the state board. They're, they're actually going to have a public hearing to receive comments. Um, and we're, and that's what Aqua, their effort is trying to, trying to mobilize the members to <coughs> come up with the, the regulations and, and those are really good comments that, that we're dealing with the state water resources control board. So their focus, unfortunately, is strictly on water. And they don't think about, not necessarily think about the consequences related to heat, heat <coughs> sinks, um, and that, that kind of, those kind of effects. Um, and it's tough. It, it, this is tough. I mean, you know, water is a scarcity. Um, the state has made priority, you know, as to where the water is going to go uh, compared to, you know, the uses that we normally have seen, like, like ag and like, um, and for residential use or landscape use. Um, so, you know, they, they, they set policy and, and we're kind of beholden to, to that policy, unfortunately. But we, we certainly have an opportunity to, to provide comments 
So uh, those will definitely be taken, and we can add those to uh, to the comments that we're, that we're going to forward on to uh, to Aqua to, to keep on the end. Thank you for that. You know, I think uh, agencies like us still need to really support ag um, instead of saying, let's just worry about us and not worry about ag. The ag people, the ag districts are having a hard time yep. being able to support ag. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of the situation that everybody's yeah. in. Um, I wanted to mention, though, on the landscape issues, uh, Director Webb, is that we have a really good resource on our on our website that the access has set up, you know, that ties us, ties into xeriscaping and what you can do. It doesn't really speak to the heat sink issue, but at least it may speak to the water conservation aspect of this. And they do have a lot of great plants. Yeah, absolutely. Are they yeah. still offering that uh, refunds if you take them on now? As, yeah. of, as of August, it was still up and going. I don't know if it's still available. Yeah. Still available. You got a jump on that one? Well, I got three from my front yard. I'll tell you about putting this back in the back of the yard. Sure. I got the architect. Yeah, uh, one more thing to report on. We um, staff had a working session with Fisher Compliance regarding the storm sewer management plan update. Uh, we provided comments on that first draft that we had shared with the uh, sewer committee. The full board hasn't seen yet. Um, the uh, updated document is about 70% complete. The target date for adoption, they're, they're actually going to be here at the October 25th meeting, Fisher Compliance, either be here or I think it's going to be here, um, to, uh, present, to present it to the board so you have the opportunity to see it um, and, and ask questions of them. And that's when you're going to, we're going to ask you to adopt it. So uh, we're moving forward on that. Uh, trying to, to document that I think we can, because at first it just wasn't, a, a, it wasn't very practical, but it's starting to turn to a document that we can use. That's why when we go to discuss the street issue again. Uh, the renaming. I I saw some homework to do that the the uh, committee gave me, and I reached out to the RMAC president, and uh, I have not heard back from him yet. Any other questions for our uh, general manager? I have one with that, and then we learned from the water. That is, still Self Help is, is kind of the manager of that project. They have they have an engineer and a surveyor, and they're wor uh, they're still working on um, their design um, and the, the arrangements that are going to need to happen. But uh, as it hasn't it kind of folded over into. Has it been approved fund-wise? Yes. Where, where are you going to hook? Where are they going to hook at? Which tank? Um, I think tank five. We're going to actually uh, tank number five. I think going to hook up. Correct, John? Yes, that's correct. Tank one's five. Uh, Out of load. Go ahead, John. Tank five is on Don Road. Yeah, it's okay. out there. Not not on on there. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, any, any updates on the property on Diamond and the 20th? It's been broken into again. Oh. Um, and there, so I, did, I have not received any quotes. I've reached out, I've solicited some quotes for demolition, just FYI, because I think it's, I think that's really what we need to do. Um, and then there's uh, another, um, Kind of a, a, um, it's a surplus property um, real estate firm that, that specializes in, in, uh, this, in dealing with surplus property and following the state regs. Uh, I haven't reached out to them yet, but I've gotten their contact information because I think we'll need to do a, co a couple of things. One is I think we need to demolish that building, and the other thing I think we need to get them involved to make sure that we follow state regs if we're going to put it up for sale. It can make sure we cross all the T's and they exactly. Yeah. And uh, I was kind of—it was kind of an eye opener to see how, how many things we need to do. So. Yeah, absolutely. I had a person ask me a question. You can answer. If you buy a piece of property, no well, does AVAC have to prove you drill the well? Yes. Well, actually, AVAC doesn't. Who does? The uh, water master. The water master does. If, it, if it's within the 
adjudicated. They, they, yes. They could turn you down? Yes, and, and uh, they could, yes. They could. I'll But it, it, I will say, serving on the advisory committee uh -huh. for the water for the water master board, uh -huh. so I have served on that, so I've seen several applications. In general, we you approve them all. Yes. We recommend approval. Are they going to put majors on them? Yes. They all have that majors on them. All right. Uh, Director of Administration. Thank you, Mr. President. So for the, the current month delinquencies, um, we mailed 98 notices of impending shutoff on August 21st. Gave folks a chance to pay down, so by the time we were ready to deliver door hangers, we only had to deliver 66 of them. And when shutoffs occurred on the 12th, we had a total of 10. So people, I really appreciate our customers taking that to heart and paying those bills so they don't now have to be shut off. Um, the district had placed a property lien back in January of 2019 for a delinquent account balance in the amount of $1,338.48. I wanted to report that we received payment in full this week. The property was sold and Metro gave us a check for that. And we are in the process of releasing the lien. So also in advance of property tax bills coming out, I just wanted to make note that if you receive any questions from our customers when you're out and about about why we are charging those fees on property tax because they do come up this time of year. Um, just a reminder that you can uh, refer them to our website. We have a great FAQ section that explains in detail what those charges are for and also it explains the use of the charges as well. A lot of people don't see on Facebook that one girl asked that, they don't understand that the usage charges to get the mail, right? Correct. Right. That is correct. They don't understand that. Those are the ACF that. charges. So we do, and, and again, they're, they're going to be coming out. I think they're probably going to be mailed out for start of October. So you may get some questions. But just to, just to be informed and prepared, you know, I'm sure you, you all are, already know where all this information is, but it's good to know. And we're going to have the access feature that information to the upcoming Okay. Good, good. Um, we did receive one piece of correspondence. I have a, a nice thank you card from Steve Perez for all of you. So if you'd like to stop and take a minute to read it after the meeting, I have it on my desk. And that's my report. All right. Uh, John, let me hear your voice. Public Works update. So in your um, agenda packet is the uh, last couple of weeks of work went that's gone on, and if you have any questions, I'll answer any of these questions. I think the visuals make a big difference. <laughs> yeah, the, the storm, the kind of the effects of the storm. That yeah, we had and, and yeah, it was kind of surprising. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> you don't have any stories to tell us, John? Just that I've been home sick for two days, and I'm trying to kick a sinus mm -hmm. infection. Stand on your head, and it, it, it will. <laughs> no. John, we get any um, graffiti tickets this week? Or? Oh, yeah, we've gotten quite a few of them. I kind of thought so, okay. Yeah, we. I was in on Monday, and I seen three of them come in. One on the AT&T building over by, by the school and a couple yeah. of others. Diamond Street. Yeah, that's where I saw Diamond. Yeah, it's coming. My son-in-law and daughter turned me out to see you last night. And I said, that's one thing about real. You don't see all of that. So. Right. It's really good. Do a good job with that, John. It's really good. See you all in town. It looks really bad. Yeah. All right. Any other questions for the public works update? All right. Moving on. I guess the motion to adjourn is... Order. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn, Director Wallace. Second. Second. Oh, second. Oh, sorry. Second, Director Wallace. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Same sign. We are adjourned at 6:38. Have a good evening.